just when you think organized religion can't get any more satanic, something like this comes out. A wicked, uh, brute beast, as the Bible calls him. Um, oh, a pastor, I'm sorry. Oh, he's probably my brother in Christ, according to some people. And he comes out and he openly says that God is queer. Let's watch this. I apologize in advance. You might want to have something that you can puke into by you, just in case. Here we go. Jetzt ist die Zeit zu sagen, wir sind alle die letzte Generation. If we're all the last generation there, Quentin Caesar, um, what does the Bible say about that? Okay, time will not, or the time will come when they will not endorse sound doctrine. In the last days some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Continue. Jetzt ist die Zeit zu sagen. And they applaud this pineapple head. How disgusting. Black lives always matter. Jetzt ist die Zeit zu sagen. Gott ist queer. Go to hell and burn. You disgusting, perverted freak you. All right. Uh, yeah, um, and then you have this thing. I'll show this a little bit. Ah, oh, an image in a church building, an artificial intelligence image delivering a sermon. A female, it's not even a real female, it's artificial intelligence. And, you know, you down through here, and then they, they go from a female, and the words up there in, in German, and then you have, and it switches to now, there's this little fruitcake here, another pastor, you know, at a Lutheran church here in Germany. I mean, Germany's my homeland, but I wouldn't go back there if you paid me to go there. You know, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, but it, then it switches to a black man now. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I love my black brethren in Christ. Don't get me wrong what I'm saying here, but why couldn't you just have the guy there as the preacher? It doesn't make any sense. It's insanity. But look at look at the thing. Packed. And what it looks like. Might be a few empty spaces in there. But what would happen if a Bible-believing preacher came there to conduct a service to tell these filthy lost Germans how to be saved? They wouldn't be packing it out. Just insane. I mean, you know, we know what it is as Bible-believing Christians. Of course, we understand that this is prophecy to be fulfilled, that they will worship the image of the beast. It's already being set up. It's already being tested. We already know what this is. But, you know, it's still distressing to see it. It's still upsetting to see how people are so foolish. I mean, Jesus Christ, when he came to the earth, he wasn't deceived into thinking, um... I'm going to come. I think there might be some, you know, everybody will actually be good. And I've just been wrong about mankind or something. No, the Lord understood the sinfulness of man. He understood why he was there. He came to die on the cross, but it still vexed him very deeply to see it. That's the right attitude to have as a Christian, right? So just another prophetic thing there. If you're still not saved, if you don't know for sure that you're saved, uh, what are you waiting for? We're getting very close to things, you know, happening here that lead into the book of Revelation and the body of Christ is going to be leaving. How soon? I don't know. But they're sure getting close. They're sure, sure pushing the things, trying to get things lined up for this time coming. So that is going to be it. Keep your head up, brethren. Don't give away your King James Bible. Don't ever give up on this King James Bible. Fight. Fight this perversion. Okay, you're not looking at having to have a long career out ahead of you yet and retirement someday and I may have to make sure. And uh, Things are speeding up. So, I mean, I like I said, I don't, I have no idea when the catching up of the body of Christ is going to happen. I've proved it in lots of studies. Uh, if you don't understand it, it's, you know, you need to understand that. It's a very important doctrine. But uh, it could be. I don't know, a couple of years yet or something, or the way things are speeding up, it could be, you know, sooner than we think.
I hope for that. You know, uh, Jesus Christ couldn't have showed up at any time in the last 2,000 years. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't line up with Scripture. God has a time frame. He has a timetable. But, you know, the way that you can tell you're getting closer to the catching up is as you're getting closer to the time of Jacob's trouble events happening. When you look and you say, okay, we're getting to a point here where there's not much we can do to get people saved. They're just becoming very hard-hearted. They don't want to hear the gospel. So at some point, the body of Christ is, you know, we're going to be done with our work. And the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be getting started. And that's about the time we're going to be leaving. So um, it's distressing, but it's exciting at the same time. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.